Good morning, modern steaders. It's a nice foggy morning out this morning. The goats are out, the pigs are out. They're all nice and noisy this morning too. Good morning, pigs. Ready for your grub? The goats are ready. Watch out. Gonna be time to move them. They're like, we're usually not out when you first get out here. You left the door open last night for us. Good morning. I've really been enjoying the building process of the post and beam barn kit we bought off the internet. We're getting so close to getting the tin roof on, guys. Today, we're gonna get that much closer. Nice, we got about two and a half cups of milk this morning. Thank you, Willow. <laughs> Little piece like, all right, I guess so. I'll clean up the food dish. Little man, you don't want any of the food dish? I see, I see a chicken out, but I know I locked him up last night. It's the crazy white chicken. I ordered some more meat birds the other day. So when they come, and they're ready to go out on pasture. We're gonna need two chicken tractors. I'll have to move the olive egg layers and the black copper marans into New York City. What are you up to old CWC? Throw some feed out, I'm tripping over them. There. It's gonna be having an epic move day in the next day or two with moving New York City and moving the pasture pig mobile. They all need to get to a new, greener pasture. Come on, Pluto, I see you in there. I lost my little helper today. She decided that she needed to go swimming for the morning. I don't blame her. It was pretty warm out yesterday. It's supposed to be just as warm today. We're going to be working on strapping the roof. I need to find 14 pieces of these and then 14 pieces of these. So right here we have our RS. Let's see how long they are. So they're 14 feet long. Should have 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 per side, so we got 28. And then we're gonna need some shorties. And I think I stacked those over here. I need those. These are for our fly rafters later, I believe. So we got one, two, Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Okay, we got fourteen extra over there, so we got three extras. We're gonna need seven per side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm thinking that these must be two feet. And if that's the case, yep, two feet. So we got fourteen and fourteen is twenty-eight. The length of this is 30. So we don't even have to do any cutting on our strapping. We just gotta stagger our joints. So let's get set up this way. I'm gonna start over here. I'm gonna start on this side because our staging's already over here and we have more working room. 
right. Get everything all set up over there, and then that way we can just start going to town once we get set up. Barn is looking good. Man, that big old spider. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Ugh. I hate spiders. Yuck. Yuck. That thing was huge. Got him. Black. If you guys are new to the channel, we're building a post and beam barn kit that we bought off the internet from JamaicaCottageShop.com. This center section right here is 16 feet wide by 30 feet long. And then we're gonna have two eight foot wide eave overhangs on each side, going 30 feet back. And the side eave overhangs are gonna be for our goats and other animals and storage. And then the center section is gonna be our workshop. It's nice that we have the siding sticking above so we can butt our strap in right up against it and we don't gotta worry about going past. So now I wanna take the square. I don't want this protruding past. We gotta come up a little bit. If we hold our square like this. That'll give us, oops, right there. So if our strapping is sitting past here, and we go to put a board on, it'll interfere with it. We can pull it down a smidge. Our little splice in here. Boom, perfect fit guys, perfect fit. 
and I like it. That's what I like seeing, a nice, snug fit. So I'm pretty sure it tells us right here, we wanna put the next six courses 20 inches on center. Use a level and set the pieces so it does not interfere with the siding, which we did. And then we want to put the next six courses 20 inches on center. So we're going to do that. So let's do this. Let's figure this out. These are four inches. So if we go So it would be 24 in between. That'll give us 20 there. it will be 24. That'll give us 20. And that'll give us, say, 16. 16. So if we cut a piece 16 inches or of anything, and we can set that in place, and then we can go along and nail all of our, the rest of our strapping. Let's go get that made. Pick up our square and a saw. Get this out of our way. There we go. We have a whole lot of scrap kicking around. We could use something like this. I think that'd be good right there. Maybe we can get two pieces out of this one. Let's make sure our ends are square. Yep. Yep. Let's go. 16. 16. Get a couple of pieces of strapping up. Yuck, is that nasty old spider? All right. One, put this one down here. Uh, probably somewhere around here we'll need it. I really like this nail gun because it's got the hook on it. So I can keep it in my pocket. And it's always right at my fingertips that way. Perfect, guys, perfect. this we'll put it a few down here it's all about working smarter and not harder might as well use everything to our advantage that we can I'm gonna get that staple in. Good 
fit. Let's pull this down a smidge. There we go. Set in place. I'm gonna scroll down here a smidge. Pull that down. I like that. Work our way back over here, maybe. Hitting the hose. All right, that's good. I like it. I was just thinking, we always have people asking us what's different ways they can make money or different jobs they could do. You could become a, you could stop building to make a cottage shop. Barn kits and different kits, they sell all over the USA and they'll deliver them. And then you could go off the plans and build them for, for other people. I don't want to roll off that edge. That would not be a good day. I love it, guys. Nice fit. Uh, you know you're doing good. Bugs are out. You know you did something right when you got a nice tight fit on every end. All right, so let's stagger this one now. Oh, looks like we're gonna have to get up. So before I get up there, I'm gonna get some more strapping and get the strapping up. I'll grab a few pieces. First one we're gonna need here. The second one we'll need here. All right, let's get the nail gun over here. Let's jump up. The reason I started on the bottom like this is as we're working our way up, we have the strapping to use as like a ladder. I like that, guys. That's, uh, Spending a little bit of extra time here and there has been so nice because it's going to save us in the long run. We flushed up there nice, there. This one can stay here. Let's go over here. Love tap, baby, love tap. That's where it hurts at. Woo hoo, love tap, baby. Oh, there we go. Bummer. All right, I get down, fix my hose, and then get some more strap in, and we'll start this way, go back that way. I must say, it is nice to stand on the platform every once in a while.
I'm gonna leave this end loose. I don't know if one of these pieces is a little short or if this wall needs to start getting pulled in. We'll find out next time. Because of that, I'm gonna walk back down that way and start that direction and work my way back. And we'll see how this last piece falls. If it falls short like this one, we'll see which wall we need to pull in. just a little short. I'm gonna leave it that way. All right, so we're gonna go two inches down from the top. Two inches, so. You say 11 minus two would be nine, would be five. How thick are these? Are these two and a half? That'd be way too easy. <laughs> Guys, I did not plan that at all. If I do that, because we're gonna need it in the center. And then if I do this, We'll lay out like we're getting a suntan. Does that really put me two inches from the top? It does. That way we can have room to screw the ridge cap on. Let's do this. Just do one for now. I don't feel like getting down to cut any spacers, but I will for the next one. I like that. Nice and flush. All right, get these spacers in place. Close one, guys. Close one. I didn't want to have to go down to get it. There's good. Let's get this end set in place. All right, let's jump down here a few. Yeah, Olivia picked a good day to go swimming today. It is a warm one. 
Well, for us, Northern New Hampshire's, we've had seven months worth of winter. 80 degrees is pretty warm. Works good. Ah, man, we're out of nails and I left them down there. All right, let's go back. We'll start down that way anyways, because that one's about a half inch short. And I wanna see if the next one's gonna fall that way. And that that one's a fluke like last time no all right so i'm gonna leave these ends all loose and see what we run into as we keep working our way up because that one down there is tight that end was tight so it might bow in the middle and if it does we'll suck it over but we'll wait till the very end to make that decision all right so this first one yes we're gonna start, ah, oh, bummer. So I don't wanna start down this end. That kind of stinks, we have to keep walking back and forth, back and forth. So I wanna keep them all loose on one end. So we'll keep them loose on this end and we'll keep starting from down that way. So my hammer fell out of my loop and landed directly on the hose somewhere. Right here. What's the odds, huh? What are the odds of that? <sighs> I think I got another hose in the house. We'll cut this one, we'll have to repair it later. But what are the odds? Oh my goodness. All right. Let's go back in the house and grab a hose. All right, I'm going through. See what we can find. I have another, had another hose for that, but I don't know where it is. So I'm gonna see if I can find a barb fitting to join the two together. All right, you gotta have something in here to work with. scenario I can probably join two fittings together like that and clamp them yeah that's worst case right here guys we'll make our own union if I don't have one Barb, here's two barbs. One's one size and one's another. We'll see what we come up with. All right, so we're gonna go with these two different size barb fittings. Like that, like that, and like this. I'll bring this one out just in case, because that's about the same size as that one. We'll see. We'll get it, we'll get back up and running today. That's all that matters. The thing is, if we go to the store right now, it's gonna cost us the rest of the day. We won't be able to finish up the project. So what we're gonna do with what we have. Alright, so this bar is too big, I'm pretty sure. I'll be able to get it, I think. Let's do this. Uh, 
Nope. I have to do it this way. Put a little spit in there for lubrication. I've had this hose for whew, 10 plus years. I haven't put a hole in it yet. That surprises me. The nice thing about this hose is it doesn't kink. And in the winter time, if it's cold out, it's still nice and flexible. All right, let's put some dope tape on. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. You gonna tell me I'm putting it on backwards because on camera, it all looks backwards. Don't ask me why. If you don't put it on the right way when you're threading it, it'll unthread, if that makes sense. fitting on. I like it. <clears throat> awesome. There, it only took us about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. Not bad. Let's see if it leaks. I don't hear any leaking. Nope, no leaking. Perfect. And look, we added about four inches of hose. Okay, let's try it again. Hope we don't drop our hammer again. This one. Keep it tight. Out of nails of course all right so we're gonna go down and get a ratchet strap or something because this is telling me that we have a bow and our two by right there we want to push that in that'll straighten our wall out because it's straight here where it's on layout and it's straight down there where it's on layout so that two by four just our two by six just goes whoop. so standing down here and looking up you can see that two by six goes whoosh, just a little bit so we got a strap and a ratchet strap. Let's see if we can get it sucked back in. All right, I'm gonna try to go right here where the window is. Just go like so. Not like that. I'll set it in place. Go up 
top. Alrighty, we got old eagle eyes up. I need some more nails. I don't like getting up in the doorway. There we go. Let's see if we can get this soaked in, or how much we can get sucked in, I should say. I know we can get it, just how much. She's coming. really tight right there down here is less but I don't think I think we're gonna have to call that good we got most of it I like that guys let's work down here and work up that one's good space in here it's got some tension on it that one we can come up right there I like it Let's go back up. We missed one nail up there. <sighs> it's amazing how much stuff you can do with a ratchet strap and a little determination and thinking out of the box. drop it on the concrete floor and make our first gouge so we'll toss it out there all right where is our other nail hole right here these two we missed two boom Today was one of those days there was a lot of up and down on a ladder on staging and climbing up and down the strapping like a roof, uh, like a ladder on the roof. A lot of people have been asking how much time we have in on the barn. I think today's day 11 or 12 that we've worked on the barn and each day I'm down there for four hours. I would say we I have anywhere between two to two and a half hours of actually working on the barn because out of that four hours I'm also filming flying the drone getting up and down changing the drone angle changing the shot landing it charging batteries so it's hard to say how much time we have invested in the barn I'll have to sit down and figure out try to kind of calculate how much time is in recording versus building if you guys have any ideas leave it in the comments down below thanks for watching i wanted to thank everybody again that we since we just hit a hundred thousand subscribers the other day that is a huge number and we thank you for that and we'll see you right back here in the next video at lumna acres a guide to modern homesteading self-sufficiency and freedom